Halo Infinite's XP progression has made a big change from the standard progression in the Halo franchise. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, let's take a deep dive into it, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it's been recently revealed within the last development update by 343 that it looks like progression when it comes to XP gains will only be happening if you complete a challenge within Halo Infinite. Unishrek, the community manager, says playing and winning matches will be challenges which will help players progress through the battle pass. Even though this means there is no per match XP at launch, you're still always progressing through challenges and therefore the battle pass. And this recent update has gotten a lot of people within the community kind of up in arms about when it comes to XP gains within Halo Infinite. So is this change though actually a bad thing or a good thing? Or is it just a change which is not really a positive or a negative just different. So we're going to dive into that into this video guys. So if you like these discussion kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. You want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as it wraps up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So we're going to talk about the XP system within Halo Infinite. We have to look at the past which makes us understand why players have concerns about the current system right now in place for Halo Infinite. So traditionally within the Halo franchise, after you complete a multiplayer match, you receive some form of XP, sometimes some kind of in-game currency. And basically the way of XP for most of the games was a way to kind of just showcase people's dedication to the game or how much they've played to show that they've put the time in to grind out the game. We had this in place in Halo 5 for 152 max rank, which was insane of a grind, but a lot of people have been able to do it. We also had the same thing right now with the MCC when they added in the XP progression system within that game, which I'll people have really enjoyed as well and pretty much every multiplayer game previously had some form of a rank that would showcase your status among other players and between mcc and halo reach originally they had the ability to earn some kind of in-game currency that you would utilize for unlocks with the master chief collection being seasonal points which are based on challenges as well as credits for halo reach and those basically came from just playing the game for the most part but mcc similar to halo reach has challenges as well which provide additional XP for playing the game in specific ways. These challenges essentially gave players the option to optimize their game time for completing curated tasks to gain more XP and progression. And from my personal experience of dealing with these challenge systems that most of them are kind of just average kind of challenges, just more kind of play the game as well like to call kind of challenges, which is things like complete 10 matches or complete 10 objectives and things like that. So they weren't anything too outrageous or too honestly skillful to where they'd be kind of blocking your average player from being able to accomplish things within the game. So while trying to complete these challenges, I'm also earning XP along the way. And then eventually once I unlock these challenges, they get these big waves of payouts to help along with my progression. So essentially I'm always earning this baseline kind of progression of XP while I'm having these big surges of XP gained from challenges. And also Honestly, these challenges really dictate how I do play the game for a lot of parts. Almost always within the MCC, there is a challenge saying play X amount of games in certain kind of games to get me a certain amount of experience points as well as seasonal points as well. So even though I don't need to do these challenges, I end up kind of doing them anyways and they kind of affect my gameplay. But for the most part, from playing challenges within the MCC, they haven't really interfered with my enjoyment with the game really at all. If anything, they actually promote me to experience more of the game, which makes it more variety, which also adds to longevity and more replayability with the game. But the question I want to ask, is it possible to still have like a fun progression system within Halo Infinite with a challenge based XP system? The big concern a lot of players have when it comes to these XP gains that can only be done through challenges within the Halo Infinite is that it feels like 343 is guiding players to play their game in a very specific way. Potentially removing choice from the player because oftentimes when it comes to game companies that might implement some odd challenges or we've seen like, you know, curated experiences from like the developers themselves, which don't actually really play out so well in game. I'm sure many of us remember the Call of Duty like default class setups back from like Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 that were not optimal whatsoever. They're pretty terrible experiences to play with 
those classes. Or we've seen previously from other games as well, I think in Halo as well, where they provide challenges that would actually promote negative behaviors within matchmaking. So a lot of players have the concern that 343 is forcing them to do something that they don't want to do in the game. And the fact that there are rewards tied to these challenges is also kind of concerning to some people as well. So let's take an example from what they showcase from like a weekly challenge that would earn you a brand new coding within the game as well. So let's take a look at what kind of examples of challenges we would have within Halo Infinite before we kind of start jumping to conclusions. So we have the capstone challenge which earns you this armor coating right here which is complete all weekly challenges to unlock the capstone the weekly challenges being complete any match do two of those go full commando which is kill enemies with the commando rifle five times sit and slay a while which is complete a slayer match that's just one of those if you complete all three of those challenges you earn this coating so you can see a lot of these challenges are rather generic which are much more just kind of like play the game kind of challenges like if you're playing the game you're going to pick up the commando eventually within an entire week you're probably going to earn at least five kills with the commando rifle unless you're just strictly do not like using that rifle whatsoever the only thing that's really gameplay specific is to play Slayer matches and you only have to do one Slayer match which is the most popular game type within Halo so I don't think it's that big of an ask. Though 343 has recognized this and they've implemented what are called challenge swaps which you can see these indicators right here on the left side. These are your challenge swaps so if there's a challenge that you do not want to do or may me not be able to pull off too well you can just swap it out for another challenge. Though it does seem like there is going to be a bit of a limit when it comes to your challenges and challenge swaps as well according to Unicheck. In specific, at least generally when it comes to the amount of challenges you'll be able to have within a single day, saying our current plans for launch, while not infinite, means it's extremely difficult to run out of daily challenges. I won't say impossible because there are some grinders out there, but I would be impressed. And Unishank plays a lot of Halo. This guy knows his Halo in and out. He used to be a content creator as well. Reach 152 in Halo 5 as well. So he's a very good player. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to Halo. And hearing Unishek say that he's a grinder and saying that it would take quite a bit of an effort to reach a daily max of challenges is my concerns when it comes to running out of challenges or having enough challenges that you would be willing to accomplish within a game for a single day. Though the thing is are that challenge swaps are a consumable item, meaning you only have a limited amount of them and then once you run out, well eventually you just run out of challenges. And taking a look at the battle pass for example, because this is obviously a truncated version, it's not a final product, but you can kind of get an idea of what to expect when it comes to the battle pass here for Halo Infinite, that yes, these challenge swaps will be part of the free side of the battle pass as well, but it looks like armor customization, maybe even some coatings as well. And what looks to be like XP boosts right here, showcase right here in the middle, are tied to the paid battle pass. So you still will be able to earn these challenge swaps for free from just playing the game. But you can see within the first five tiers of the battle pass right here, there's only one challenge swap. And if you look in the lower right, it says 500 XP to earn your next reward. So it'd be 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, maybe even 3000 XP before you actually get a chance to earn your next challenge swap. And looking back at the challenges, showcasing a daily challenge of 100, weekly challenges of 200, 200, and 200, that utilizing the challenge system is going to be key to being able to progress through the battle pass. Which honestly, those XP rates might sound just fine, but when I read this part of the last development update from 343 is saying that the technical preview we had expedited XP earn rates to help players get through the battle pass in a short window for the preview which then makes me believe okay so if these are expedited XP gains for these unlocks then what are the true XP gains going to be like for the game and how many tiers are they going to be for the battle pass? It's quite concerning, honestly. Though they kind of circle back from what I was talking about previously about my current experience like playing MCC right now where it feels like even though, yes, I'm earning XP, but all my seasonal points where I use my unlocks are all tied to challenges. And for right now, my experience of playing MCC when my only way to unlock things within the battle pass is by doing challenges. 
is not really that concerning to me. Like I said earlier, playing with these challenges within the MCC has helped me to maybe prolong my game time when it comes to playing MCC, made the game less stale because then like they kind of curate my way of how pl I play for that game session. And also these are just weekly challenges and seasonal challenges that we have for the MCC. When it comes to daily challenges, honestly, it might kind of boost me to play the game even more because there'd be some new cool thing to do in the game that I haven't maybe even tried yet and honestly maybe just like the rate of earning experience points within the master chief collection would probably even out to maybe about the same as playing for seasonal points on the mcc so really i don't think this is either a negative or really a positive i think it's just something that's different that players have never had before and change is always kind of scary. It always kind of messes with people because they know what they've had before and they liked it, but why change it? Well, maybe the way they, reason why they changed it at 343 is to maybe help out with people who are maybe kind of trying to scam the system a little bit to earn points more than they really should. I mean, there's plenty of videos like on YouTube when it came to earning your original credits for Halo Reach. People are saying, oh, play the game this certain way, play this certain moment within the campaign, do this certain thing, and you earn just like an insane amount of credits and XP for doing minimal work. And that's something that obviously a 343 wants to try to avoid. So maybe funneling players through this challenge system to earn their progression will one, help out with people who are cheating the system a little bit to earn more XP and credits than they really should be earning. And also to help simplify and also kind of unify the experience when it comes to earning your unlocks through the battle pass as well. So while on face value when hearing about this, it's concerning, it feels like it's taking away choice from players, but honestly, what it seems like what they might be doing with Halo Infinite, it's just making sure people are not scamming the system too much to where they actually do have to play the game to go earn things within the battle pass in some kind of way. And from what we've seen from the challenges from the tech preview, most of the challenges are just kind of like play the game kind of challenges and nothing too specific or honestly that difficult. Of course, there is that concern though that you will be utilizing challenge swaps when it comes to being able to switch out challenges that you may not like. Of course, we do have another tech preview coming for Halo Infinite. So when that tech preview does come around, I guarantee I'll test out that system and let you guys know the experience behind that and if is something to really be concerned about when it comes to the launch of Halo Infinite. But ultimately, I feel like this might kind of come down to maybe the same experience that we had with the coding system when we first heard about that, when you're limited to just being able to choose colors that 343 provided for you. I remember when I did a poll on this channel, it seems like the community kind of flip-flopped on their feeling about the coding system within Halo Infinite. For example, right here, I did it on my community panel here on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to take part in the next community polls, which I do quite often, make sure you subscribe to the channel here. But before the reveal of the multiplayer that we have for Halo Infinite, I asked the question, Halo Infinite coding system, do you like it? 55% said yes, 45% no. But then after the multiplayer reveal, things changed quite a bit. Where with 8K votes, 84% ended up saying they do like the coding system compared to 16% saying no. So obviously context matters a lot when it comes to how you experience things within the game. So this XP change, where it does sound scary at first, might kind of be negligible and maybe something easier for 343 to track to avoid people who to scam the system to earn unlocks within the battle pass because unlocks are gonna be monetized if you wanna buy a battle pass. So it brings up a huge new question about earn rates and progression within a Halo game. So ultimately, I don't know if I like or dislike the new challenge XP system because point values are rather irrelevant, but at the rate of which you earn these unlocks certainly is, and we won't truly know the proper rate of how XP is earned and unlocks are earned until we get a chance to really get a good amount of time in with the community to play the game. If you guys like these discussion kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let me know when we see more content like this. Check out the videos right here if you missed any content from me recently or you're new to the channel, got plays for all my Halo news videos right there. Thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.